Hello guys, I'm John Bender Waffles Algets, and I'm here today with a quick addendum to last week's RPG Maker tutorial. Last week we covered uh, troops and enemies, and we made this wildling battle. Uh, and so today we are going to cover boss battles. Now, the first step in creating a boss battle is, first of all, well, it's kind of defining where it is. In this case, we're going to be doing it here in our little temple dungeon room thingy. Uh, and the second step is actually making the boss. Now, you make the boss in the exact same way that we made the wildlings in the last episode. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make one really quickly here. Not really going to talk a lot while I do it. Just kind of going to do something. Uh, you know what? Let's have Miss Wizard Lady. Let's change her hue a little bit. Uh, no, you know what? We'll keep her in her standard. We're going to call her Wicked Witch. Her max HP is going to be 1,000 because she's a boss. Her max MP is going to be 800. I'm literally just making these numbers up on the fly. So you have 18 defense. Her magic attack is going to be 24. Magic defense will be 21. Agility lock, that's all fine. Attack element, that's fine. Dropped items, she's going to drop potion. Elixir, so one out of two chance of dropping that. And a weapon. She's gonna be a mithril axe. She'll have an absolute she's gonna give a thousand experience and two hundred and fifty gold. We're gonna give her some attacks here. Not super important. Fire breath. Uh dark cloud and not dual attack. Okay, so now we got her. She's made up. That's all cool. Go over here. We're going to make her troop. 32. This is all stuff that I covered in a previous episode, so if you haven't watched that, just go back and watch that episode. Episode 11. Monsters and Troops. Go put her on the field. Auto name. We could deal with the background, battle test, all that sort of stuff. We're not going to do anything here in the battle event, but this is this is something that I want you guys as homework to sort of play around with yourselves. Figure out the battle events. Um, it's just like scripting regular events. You know, you drop it in. You can have her talk at specific times um, by editing the conditions here. So you could be on, like, turn five. She could say, ha, 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 you know, or something along those lines. Uh, anyways, so now we got her done and good. We'll close that. Now we're going to find the spot on the map where we want her to be, which is going to be right here. When you're in the event pane, right click and click new. We're going to name her. She's going to be Witch Boss. Name doesn't really matter. Her image. We're going to find the one that kind of corresponds with the witch. I don't remember which one was the witch. Was it her? Yeah, okay. We'll have her facing up towards the wall. You talk to her, she will say, ha, 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 sure. Give her a face. And then this is where the actual like creation of the battle goes in. Go over here and on pane three, battle processing. And what this does is it will start up a battle with whichever troop you define. So in this case, Wicked Witch. You can also designate it with a variable, so if you want it to only happen if a specific variable has happened, or you want to treat it like a random encounter, all those sort of things. You can also set it up so that you can escape from it, or that you can lose it and the game will keep going. We aren't going to mess with those because it's a boss battle, so we want our player to be unable to escape because they have to fight them, and uh, we want them to be able to have a game over. Otherwise, it's not really a boss. Click OK. And now that's really all you need. That's kind of the bare essentials of this fight. Click Apply, click apply hit Save, and let's play test this. So I'm not actually going to do the battle, but you know, there she is. 
Go up. We're going to talk to her. Ha 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 ha. And then that sends us into the battle. So there we go. Now we're in the battle with the Wicked Witch. And it's going to crash on us because we're having some image issues that I haven't messed with yet. You guys saw that in the last uh, tutorial. But that's how you do a boss battle. Pretty quick, pretty easy, pretty simple. <laughs>